This is a 1950 Underwood leader. It's been fully refurbished and it is ready to say. The bell is not real loud on this. I don't know if you can hear this with the camera's microphone or not. This is a nice shoe pen, black and red, under the bleeder. Keys look pretty good. I think that's a bake light material, I think is what you call that. The decal's a little faded, but it looks pretty good. The platinum feed rollers and rubber feet have been reconditioned. Good shape. The finish on this looks real good. And it does have some nicks and spots on it. Of course, it is 69 years old. There's a little bit of a spot here. Fairly noticeable. Back. There's a little bit of a shift there around the screw. Really, the finish is almost perfect. This decal is pretty good, but a little faded. This leader does have the end of line bell. Some of them have it and some of them don't. But it's not real loud. My hear, I mean, I can barely hear it, but, but it does work. This machine also comes with a reprinted user's manual, which is really just a one page. But it tells you everything you need to know. Now I'm also including this typewriter pad. It's felt on one side and rubber on the other side. It does help to quiet the typewriter down. You don't have to use it, of course, but it does help. The original case is not too bad a shape, but it does show its age a little bit. There's some bare spots here and there. Mark down here.
1950 under a leader typewriter. 